A man sneaks around a Russian nuclear site, moving slowly, trying to avoid detection. But cameras and sensors are tracking him, and he's quickly caught. Fortunately, this man is not an intruder. He's an instructor, and he's working with these students to test equipment that keeps nuclear facilities safe and secure. Protecting nuclear material poses one of the world's greatest security challenges. With more countries interested in nuclear power and an enduring terrorist threat, national governments are hard at work to keep radioactive materials from falling into the wrong hands. The IAEA is working with authorities at the Interdepartmental Special Training Center, a Russian facility outside of Moscow designed to train security personnel from around the world. It's part of a concerted effort to promote international cooperation in nuclear security. But simply having fences and firepower is not enough. Keeping nuclear materials secured requires specialized training. At the ISTC, students receive training on perimeter detection and alarm systems. Guards learn how to ward off potential sabotage. Experts design mock defense systems to protect nuclear facilities. Similar training centers exist in other countries with advanced nuclear programs, but the ISTC is unique. The ISTC in Obninsk is the only one which offers the training possibility to a regional or an international audience. So it's the only one to which the IAEA can bring participants from different countries to do these exercises, to perform the training, to give them the additional qualifications and skills for physical protection. Since nuclear facilities are situated in different climates and conditions, it's important to make sure equipment can work in all environments. Labs here at the ISTC help technicians to push security equipment to extreme limits. In these labs, security cameras and sensors are shaken vigorously to simulate earthquakes. Placed in a weather chamber, where temperatures go from a bone chilling minus 70 up to 180 degrees Celsius. A controlled humidity simulator replicates conditions with extreme moisture. And a final test blows dust to simulate sandstorms, as if in a desert. If the kit survives, it's given ISTC certification and is then ready for deployment. With more nuclear security training needed, the ISTC in Obninsk is ready to train more specialists. We look for further cooperation with the IAEA and hope to expand beyond the framework of existing projects. We are ready to consider any proposals forwarded by IAEA member states. Though nuclear security is a national responsibility, any act of nuclear terrorism would have international repercussions. By collaborating with facilities like the ISTC, the IAEA is working to keep the nightmarish prospect of nuclear terrorism from becoming a reality. <laughs>